how to be ready to pay for long-term care. Long-term care can be an expensive proposition that too few people are prepared for or understand. Unfortunately, most people don't think about how they will pay for care until they're confronted by a serious health situation for themselves or a loved one. The worst time to start planning for long-term care is in the midst of a crisis because the options to pay for care can be complicated and take some time to access. The three primary ways to pay for care are with Medicare, Medicaid, or private pay through insurance, savings, or assets. Medicare is an age-based program that will cover the first 100 days of rehabilitation care in a licensed skilled nursing facility upon direct discharge from a hospital. Medicaid is a means-based program, which means to qualify, an applicant must meet both standards of medical necessity and be below set asset and income levels that are below the poverty line. Applying for Medicaid can be a challenging process that requires the applicant to submit detailed medical and financial records. Medicaid will look back five years at financial records to make sure that assets have not been hidden or transferred to family members. And then private pay primarily comes from an individual and or a family's savings, insurance, assets, or income. Independent and assisted living, as well as most forms of home care, are private pay only. Nursing homes are primarily covered by Medicaid for people who can qualify. Skilled rehabilitation and hospice are mostly covered by Medicare. Families need to do all they can today to prepare to fund long-term care and protect themselves from both the financial costs and the possibilities of legal liabilities. There are actions that people can start taking today to prepare themselves for future costs, and there are long-term care funding tools that people can use to address immediate need for care as well. What are some of today's options for private pay funding of long-term care? Well, there's the Veterans Aid and Attendance Benefit. This is for veterans of active combat duty and or their spouses who are eligible to receive upwards of $2,000 per month, which is paid directly towards qualifying long-term care services. Like Medicaid, the applicant must meet both medical necessity and income asset level requirements. Reverse mortgages are for homeowners with little to no remaining mortgage balance that are age 62 or older and who can qualify to take a HUD-backed loan against their home. To qualify, the home must still be the primary residence and the loan will be paid back with interest and fees after the homeowner dies, typically through the sale of the property. Senior living loans are loans that can be secured specifically to pay for long-term care services. These loans are unsecured by collateral and instead are guaranteed by family members, one or more. Interest rates are similar to a credit card. Long-term care insurance are insurance policies that will provide a fixed monthly payment to cover approved forms of qualifying long-term care. Long-term care insurance needs to be purchased while people are still young and healthy to get affordable premium rates and or even to qualify. Then there's the long-term care benefit plan. This is the conversion of an in-force life insurance policy into a pre-funded, irrevocable benefit account that is professionally administered with payments that are made monthly on behalf of the individual receiving care. Policy owners use their legal right to convert an enforced life insurance policy to enroll in the benefit plan and are able to immediately direct tax-exempt payments to cover their senior housing and long-term care costs. The key to successfully navigating any long-term care situation is to understand your financial options and understand the differences between what will be covered by Medicare, Medicaid, or private pay. Planning and informing yourself as far in advance as possible is best. But remember, there are also a number of funding options available that can help people address a sudden and immediate need for care today.